everybody, welcome to Instant Reaction TV, where things get instant. I'm your host, Knife and Fresh, and thanks for tuning into today's show, What's Your Instant Reaction? Today, we're going to be addressing some haters, some rumors, some speculations that were made off of false accusations. So, let's begin. As you all know, we've been shaded numerous of times by a fellow interviewer. Somebody who's a character, somebody who's not even a real person, an overgrown person who pretends like a character that's not even real, an overgrown person who's imaginary, who wouldn't even be known outside of their interviews because they're not a real person, they're a character. Now this is an overgrown person who plays dress up. <laughs> oh my god, they're overgrown, but they play dress up. This is crazy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Lord, they're trying to shade me. But they haven't looked in the mirror at their own self first. How can you shade somebody but you haven't looked in the mirror at yourself? Now, I would not shade somebody if I was an overgrown person playing a character with a fake attitude. People should really look at themselves before they try and shade somebody. People should really look at themselves. Look in the mirror before you try and shave somebody. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Anyways, there was a speculation that was made that we asked a BGC 16 girl why she's doing the interview with somebody else. First of all, don't talk about anything or don't talk about a story you heard. There's always two sides to every story. Let's, let's be real. There's always two sides to every story. So, with that being said, don't always believe the words you hear out of somebody's mouth without hearing the other side. First of all, let's go back to the facts. We were supposed to do an interview with this BGC 16 girl the same day that she did the interview with somebody else. So, we made plans, me and this, we and this BGC 16 girl, we made plans to do an interview, okay? We made plans to do an interview, and it was gonna be around evening time the next day. We had already made plans. So we made plans to do the interview, mind you, and now I have a life. We, I have a life outside of these interviews. So when I do these interviews, I take it very seriously. I, I, I clean my schedule. I make time to do these interviews because it's not always easy to do these interviews. But you know what? I make time for the fans. I make time for my support. And all my Instant Reaction TV supporters, all my Instant Reaction TV subscribers, you guys are the bomb. I love my supporters. I love all of you guys so much. I see you guys defending me in the comment section. I, I see you guys standing up for me. You guys are the bomb. I see you guys. And I really appreciate all the love. I love it. Instant Reaction TV gang, I love you guys so much. We were supposed to do this interview around evening time. I see this BGC, I see this BGC 16 girl. Mind you, I used to follow her on my personal Twitter page. And I'm scrolling down my timeline and I happen to see this BGC 16 girl tweet that she's doing an interview with somebody else. So I contact her and I tell her like, okay, so what's what, what's going on? We were supposed to do an interview and I saw you tweet that you're doing an interview with somebody else. That was the case. I never, ever, we never, ever, ever asked her why you're doing an interview with this person. Our understanding is we scheduled an interview for a certain time and we saw you on Twitter, on your personal Twitter, you tweeted that you were doing an interview with somebody else. So we contacted you and asked you what's up. It's never about, oh my gosh, why are you doing the interview with this person? Oh my gosh, why are you doing the interview with us? It was never ever about anything like that. Our thing is, is that if you say something, stand by what you say. Don't say that you're gonna do an interview with us and we schedule an interview and I clean my time, my precious time, my schedule, my, my, my personal time to do an interview with you and all of a sudden you say you're doing an interview with somebody else on Twitter. They said they're doing the interview with somebody else on Twitter and they didn't even let us know. That's disrespectful. That's not consistency. We like consistency at Instant Reaction TV. You said, you were, you said your face was going to be beat and we confirmed it and everything. And then all of a sudden we see you tweet you're going to do an interview with somebody else. That was the whole thing. I don't, we, I don't care if you're doing an interview with somebody else, but if you say you're going to do an interview with us at a specific time, do the interview at the time you said you were going to do that. Now, it's different if you can't do the interview because of a personal reason or you get busy, but when you just tweet on Twitter like, oh my gosh, I'm doing the interview with somebody else, 
and you don't let us know, that's disrespectful. If you if you support us, then we support you. If you don't support us, then guess what? We're not gonna support you either. It's that simple. And there has been BGC girls who supported us. Shout out to you. Shout out to all the BGC girls that have supported us. Thank you so much for your wonderful conversations. You guys are awesome. But to the BGC girls who don't support us, guess what? We're not gonna support you either, and that's just how it's gonna be. And back to this interviewer shading us. Listen, they're shading us because they're jealous of Instant Reaction TV. They're jealous because Instant Reaction TV is popping. They're jealous because Instant Reaction TV is their biggest competition. Boop. Did you hear me? They're jealous because Instant Reaction TV is their biggest competition. <laughs> now, don't try to shade us and act like you don't feel a type of way. Because if you don't feel any type of way, then you wouldn't have to be shading us, okay? And usually, I let God fight my battles. We ignore things like this. But since you want to be petty and shade us, let's be petty. Let's be petty. I'm going to pull up all the receipts. Yep, that's why I'm pulling up all the receipts. Since you want to shade us, all right? You want to shade us? <laughs> let's be petty. I could be petty all day. Trust me. Let's tell your followers, since you want to be petty, let's tell your followers how you came to my Instagram page. You came to, you came to Knife and Fresh Instagram page, and you thought you were creeping. But guess what? They like my Instagram pictures. <laughs> my picture? <laughs> What's this? What's this say? Right here. Expose. What's that say? Someone so liked their picture. That's exactly what that say. What's that say at the top? Blah blah blah. Like your picture. So they came to our page. This fellow interview who shouldn't. They came to our page. You you. So don't try to act like you don't know who I am. Like you don't know who we are. You came you came to my page. So don't act like you don't know who I am because you came to my Instagram page when you knew who we were since day one when we started doing interviews. You knew exactly who we were. You came to my Instagram. You liked my picture. You liked my picture. Let's be clear. You liked Knife and Fresh's picture. They didn't start doing BGC 16 interviews until they saw our interviews first. We started to train for the BGC 16 interviews and then they got intimidated. That's when they started doing that. That's when they started doing interviews again because they saw ours first because they got intimidated. <laughs> and to the BGC 16 girl, who claimed that we were mad that you didn't do an interview with us? Let's be clear. You sent us a Snapchat that we're not gonna even we not we haven't even opened yet. But you were saying, oh, I'll do an interview with you guys too. It's no problem. No, we don't want to interview you anymore. We don't want to interview you. Why? And here's the evidence, right? We're not gonna open your snap. We're, it's gonna be there forever because we're not just it's, it's irrelevant now. We're not gonna open it. But let's be all the way clear. After. You, you 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 told us that you'll still do an interview with us. We didn't want to do an interview with you. Why? Because you weren't a woman of your words. We were supposed to have a, an interview at a specific time, and you said that you're going to interview with somebody else. So after that, you know what? We lost respect for you. We're definitely not going to want to interview you after that. So that was the case. So always know facts before... Always know facts. Always state facts before you make accusations or jump to believe one side of the story. There's always two sides to every story and make sure you hear two sides to every story before you jump on somebody's bandwagon, somebody who's not honest. So people are always gonna talk, people are always gonna say things, haters are always gonna hate, but guess what? They say if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. <laughs> So I must be popping. So Instant Reaction TV, we must be popping because they talking. So I just want to say thank you so much to all of my Instant Reaction TV subscribers, to all of my Instant Reaction TV supporters, for all of you guys supporting me in the comment section, to all of you guys always defending me. I love you guys. I love all of my supporters. As I said, all of my subscribers. And you guys are the real MVP. You guys are the ones I do it for. Thank you so much for tuning into Instant Reaction TV. Until next time, one peace and God bless.